Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and another day of Vlogmas. Yes, it's another video where I'm wearing this pink Nadam cashmere sweater, but listen, I paid a pretty penny for this, not that pretty because it was Black Friday, but I love it. I'm not justifying it to you. I love the sweater, okay? So, today is going to be an interesting video. We are going to walk through my new skincare and makeup routine because um, yesterday I had a crazy realization that I wish I had maybe eight years ago that I do not have acne, okay? The texture and the clogged pores that I constantly have no matter what I use, whether it's natural, if I'm vegan, if I'm not, if I use this, if I use that, if I cut out this, if I did da 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 it, they're always there, right? Okay, so hear me out. This kind of sounds gross, but listen, we're gonna be real. It's commonly referred to as fungal acne, but it's not acne at all. It's basically folliculitis, and it is an overgrowth of like a fungus on your skin. Guys, I know that sounds so gross, but look, I'm the face of it. I'm the face of fungus. She's a fungus queen, she's a fungal queen, she's making fungus sexy. I'm making fungus sexy, babe. I'm bringing fungus back, yeah? Okay, we have to be done. Um, but yes, I'm almost positive that's what I have because I was like, yesterday I was losing my freaking mind. I was like, this is not fair. I've been eating wonderful, nutritious food. I've been taking care of my skin. I'm, I'm pissed. I'm sick of this. I'm 26, dude. Honestly, like come on and so I I don't know how I haven't stumbled upon this before but I found ma Malacensia, I think it's called Malacensia folliculitis. Malacensia is the type of fungus fungus queen and It it's kind of a lot of it is genetic and you can't really like it's, it's not really anyone's fault that they experience it But people that have this usually have like dandruff psoriasis dry scalp itchy skin I'm the queen of that. No matter what I'm using or how much or how little I wash my hair, I have an itchy scalp. I have times where my face itches and my chest, and I have little bumps on my chest as well, and my face will itch like crazy, but it's not hives. And one of the main sort of like qualities or symptoms, I guess, of this condition is itching, where, whereas acne, that's not really a symptom, itchy face. I get crazy itchy, like multiple times a day, and then the bumps get crazy. So, I am almost positive that I have this thing. I found this incredible blog post that explains the whole thing. I mean, it is a, a, so much research and so scientific and amazing. I will link it down below. It helped me so much because I was like, this is me, this is me. And it also has a list of treatments and skincare and makeup that is safe to use on skin that has this condition. And let me tell you, it's not that much. Um, because basically anything with oil, we basically can't use any kind of oils because it feeds the bacteria, it feeds the, the fungus. So, yeah, basically, even though I've been using good products, especially when I went like all natural for a sec, those products are full of oils and cr and butters and things like that. And and I was feeding the fungus. So. I have gotten new products that are approved from this list, besides the lip products and the mascara and stuff, but I'm, I mean, it doesn't really go on my face, so I should be okay, but I've gotten new skincare and new makeup recently from Sephora that I hope helps me clear this up. Um, I'm doing other stuff, like I put Nizoral on my face, I mentioned that, I literally put anti-dandruff shampoo on my face. It was recommended, okay? So we'll see, but this is the final result after the skin and the makeup and I'm happy I feel really really happy with how I look actually my skin looks smooth. It looks hydrated I don't really see that the texture is looking that crazy. I feel like my skin looks healthy. It has some color to it I've got everything that I like in my normal makeup routine But now with these products and I'm safe from feeding the fungus don't feed the fungus and don't feed the fungus isn't there a song in a little shop of horrors called don't feed the plants anyway enough about fungus i'm not gonna say that word anymore the f word but let's jump into it um i'm really keeping it real in this video but i hope you enjoy and maybe if you struggle with that like especially on the forehead on the cheeks just like bump city Maybe you've got it too. So check out the blog post below. I don't know. You know, I know a lot of people don't like when people diagnose themselves, but this to me, no one has ever told me that I have this and it makes complete sense. I have every single symptom. It makes complete sense to me. So yeah, that's the look. 
why don't we jump in? It's a first impressions of most of these products, but I kind of am walking you through my whole routine that I'm gonna be using forever, I think. Um, and uh, yeah, so hopefully you enjoy this. Let me stop talking about the F word and let's just jump into this video. Mwah! Okay, so let's dive in. I just washed my face, so it is a little bit blotchy, but I have switched all of these products as of yesterday. So my cleanser, these are all apparently safe. I will link the blog post below if you think you have this malassezia folliculitis thing that I have going on. So all of these are safe. We have the Glow Recipe Blueberry Bounce Gentle Cleanser, cleansed with that. Then I toned with this Brujita Amber Hydrosol. I just got stuff from Brujita Skin Care and most of the stuff I can't use because it has oil and butter. What a bummer. Um, so I'll give it to somebody who can use that stuff. Moisturized with the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Oil Free Gel Cream. Um, this is very, very light. It has a nice, it does have alcohol in it, but it has a really, really nice cooling sensation. Um, and I actually really like it. I was wary of, of trying another Kiehl's product because I used to have one of their um, moisturizers. My hair does not want to do anything today. I used to have one of their, I, th I think it was their normal, like it comes in the white thing. It's the classic moisturizer. And back when I had really bad, like sensitive dermatitis, it burned the crap out of my skin. And so I was like, screw you Kiehl's. You're not as gentle as you claim to be. But I think my skin was just incredibly reactive to anything I put on it. So this is fine. And then I'm gonna top it off now that it's sunk in with the Biosense, Biosense Squalane and Vitamin C Rose Oil. So Squalane is basically one of the only like three oils that you can use safely when you have this condition, um, which is, you know, it's frustrating because oils work really well for many, many people. They like swear by them but it makes complete sense to me that I am not supposed to use oils because anytime I've used really buttery or oily products, it's not even like I get whiteheads or anything like that. It's just the bumps. The bumps are abounding and I can't do it. So this is great. It smells really good, but it doesn't sting. Sometimes things with rose, rose fragrance or any heavy fragrance really just burn immediately, especially around here, and this is just fine. Plus I like that I'm using something with squalene and vitamin C. And there's no pilling, there's no pilling going on in terms of interactions between the moisturizer and the oil, so that's always good, because that can be so annoying. I don't have a safe SPF yet, I just ordered one last night on Amazon, so. Um, and last night I did my first face mask with Nizerol, which is that psoriasis shampoo that I use. I did put it on my face. It's apparently recommended, so whatever. It did not burn. My eyes, um, or my face definitely felt kind of tight because I left it on for probably 10 to 15 minutes. Um, but I, it didn't burn. It didn't do anything extreme in terms of like hurting me or anything, which I kind of expected. So yeah, I've never put shampoo on my face before, but yeah, what else? I also ordered, did I just get something here? I also ordered uh, the De La Cruz Sulfur Ointment. Um, so excited to use that because I do remember I used to have a cleanser with sulfur that was uh, prescribed to me by a dermatologist and that was really nice. So besides it smelling kind of weird, it's, it's effective, so. And this mascara is the Chanel La Volume that I always use. All right, so I'm still kind of waiting for this oil to sink in, and I don't even know if I want to use eyeshadow today, so I'll just kind of show you what I got. I had some returns to make at Nordstrom, so while I was there, I picked up something that was on the safe list. This is the Lancer, or Lancer, 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 I don't know. Clarifying Detox Mask with green tea and 3% sulfur. So because it has sulfur, I know that my skin will probably enjoy this, so I liked it. It was quite a splurge, it's not cheap, but the returns, I even still got money back. I used my returns and I, I purchased this. So yeah, in the end I still paid for it, but I'm you know curious to see if I like this. Very, very curious. Um, then I got, let's see. 
I stupidly put the Benefit Professional back and I kept two concealers. I meant to put my Benefit concealer back, but I didn't. But I got the uh, Fenty Beauty. I got two different foundations because sometimes I like to switch it up. For filming, I like to have a heavier foundation. And if I'm just going out or I got a date or something, I like to keep it a little lighter. So I got the Fenty Pro Filter Soft Matte Longwear Foundation. And it's no wonder I used to love the Fenty, those little sticks but they gave me the worst bumps and I'm pretty sure that stuff, it, it's like full of wax and oil and butter. As far as what I can feel, yeah. So the pro, the soft matte foundation, hopefully this doesn't emphasize dryness, we'll see. Then I got Dior Backstage Face and Body. I know I love this, I've tried it and I couldn't stop thinking about it ever since I first tried it. Um, I got the Fenty, a lot of Fenty products are safe. The Fenty Pro Filter Instant Retouch Setting Powder in Butter. This is for fair complexions. The Huda Beauty Tantour Contour and Bronzer Cream. Because I need a bronzer. Um, I got the Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Foil Freestyle Highlighter Duo. I used to have one of these and then I threw it away because I was like, highlighter is so over and it's not, just not in the same way. But Sandcastle and Minted Mojito. It's like a weird, cool toned, bluey highlighter, but on one side and then one kind of cool toned goldish on the other. I don't know, we'll see how it works. Then I got, this was a mistake, maybe I'll return it, I don't know. The Benefit Cakeless Concealer. Maybe this would be nice to use under the eyes, we'll see. Um, the Boing Cakeless Concealer. The Dior Forever Skin Correct 24 hour full coverage creamy concealer. This is gonna be nice, especially on days when I don't wanna wear foundation, I can just cover spots. Oh, I got a little Dior Show sample. And then I got two Yves Saint Laurent lipsticks. These are the Slim Rouge Pure Couture. I got 205 Secret Rosewood and 105 Red Uncovered. So that's that on that. Um, all right, I feel like I don't want my face to be too dry when I put on this stuff. So let's try, let's just go ahead and start applying. Um, I think I'm gonna do my Dior Face and Body. My, is that, is that what it's called? Face and Body Foundation, Dior Backstage. 1.5 Neutral is the color that I got. And it comes in very MAC Face and Body, this kind of container. It seems to be a perfect match. We will see. So far, no pilling with this and the oil either. I smell so good because at Nordstrom I sprayed on the Jo Malone fig and I don't know, it's some fig fragrance. Actually, is there a little bit of pilling? Okay, I think there's a little bit of pilling. My skin already looks better though. I'm gonna let this oil sink in a little bit more. I do think I need more time. So I'll be back in a jiff and we'll continue with the makeup. Okay, I'm back. I spent about half an hour answering some questions for someone who interviewed me for a special magazine so um if you want to know what that is follow me on instagram because i'll post it when i'm able to that's very exciting so now the oil is more sunk in this foundation does have a fragrance all right i just brought my mirror over here so that's why i'm looking but wow this foundation looks great it looks super super natural um i am gonna try the dior Concealer now This is in 2n all right looks like that I'm just gonna put it on any spots. Oh, this should be a perfect match Any spots that are a little discolored. I think especially when you have textured skin it's more valuable to do a nice light concealer that doesn't or rather a nice light foundation that doesn't enhance texture or like a rather accentuate texture, and then, um, you know, spot conceal. You know what, since I already got this, let's look at this Benefit concealer. It looks pretty light, so maybe this will be my new under eye concealer. Yeah. Oh yeah, that'll be fine, cause see, that's a lot lighter. Ooh, it's an interesting kind of bendy. The, the doe foot is like really movable. Time to blend. This feels really hydrating. I think it's supposed to be too, right? 
but it's not drying. I also know Dior kind of, I mean, kind of targets more to an older crowd also because it's so expensive. I know they're kind of like Chanel, they're trying to go kind of young now, but I feel like most of those lines, the products are not super matte, super flat, because that's also very trendy, you know, and they're kind of staying classic. So I find a lot of like Dior, YSL, Chanel, Lancome, it's usually very hydrating. So that's great, because I do not see any dry patches right now as I'm blending. And actually, I don't always use my fingers, I usually don't at all with foundation and concealer, but I really like this. And it looks like it's matching my neck, so that's good. Yeah, I used to wear um, warm. Anytime like I would buy foundation, I would buy warm. And it just, you know, sometimes it looked good, but like, you know, in photos, I suppose it did. But in person, I always felt like I had a little bit of a line or I had to blend it way down my neck and I just didn't like that. And so I, I've been trying to wear colors that are true to my complexion. And I'm, I'm neutral and sort of cool, if anything. Okay, so I love the Dior concealer. That's bomb. Which I was hoping I would because it's not, it's not cheap. I was surprised that that was okay for my skin condition, but you know, it is what it is. This Benefit Concealer is cute too, because it's not really, it's not cakey and it's not too thick. Because that is not the, oh, whoops, didn't blend there. That's not the look that I love to go for. Yeah, it's nice and bright, see, but it's not too bright that it, sometimes like in photos or in general, if I wear something too bright around my eyes, I'm not sure, some people can really pull that off. I start to look like a opposite raccoon. And I just, it's really not flattering on my face shape, especially because I have a very prominent nose. I don't have a flat nose, like it, you know, it's prominent. So, um, it already gets quite a bit of color, like, and because my cheekbones aren't that prominent, whenever I tan, my nose gets really dark. So I feel like if right around my dark nose, my, um, my eyes are super light, I feel like that just looks weird. Wow, okay, whenever I do my foundation, it makes me look like I have no upper lip anymore. <laughs> like, but that is bomb, especially considering, you can see I have texture, I have it going on, but this is what we're trying to treat. But as far as like evening and not accentuating the texture, looks pretty good. I'm very happy. Okay, uh, before I powder, let's do some Huda Beauty Tan Tour. What brush am I gonna use? Hold on. Okay, I got it in fair because the colors look like they go pretty deep. So I just got the lightest one because again, I'm trying to be really aware that yes, I have very fair skin. Let's embrace it. That's what this looks like. Looks like that. Looks pretty, oops. Looks pretty neutral to me. It kind of looks warm on camera, but I feel like it's pretty neutral. All right, I'm gonna take a little bit. I know this is very pigmented. I feel like I tried this once or twice at Namie's, was it? I don't know, but I'm gonna, yep. Okay, so I'm gonna do that, and I'm gonna do that. I like this concept of sort of a moussey bronzer. It reminds me of the Chanel, uh, Soleil Tan de Chanel that everyone loves, but to me that's really, really orange. It's very, very warm, so it never really looked good on me. It kind of made me look red or, I don't know, didn't look right. This is nice. This is going on so smoothly, and I need the tiniest amount. Put a little bit on the nose. Cute little nose bronzer. A little bit on the eyes, because if I don't wear eyeshadow, I just bring my bronzer to my eyes. If that makes sense. Oh my gosh, that's gorgeous. That blends so much better than so many powder bronzers. Okay, now we're gonna powder. We're gonna use the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Instant Retouch Setting Powder in butter. This is a nice big container. I'm gonna have to send so much beauty stuff to my mom but she's gonna like it for Christmas, actually. I'll just send her a, some of my um, stuff that I can't use anymore. Okay, got a little bit of here. This looks like it's very finely milled. The 
this have a smell? I can't tell. I thought I smelled something, but I don't know. And they do have like a banana one, I think, that's like a brightening powder, but I don't really do all that, so realistically, I just stuck with this. Oh, this is nice and light. It's not really taking away any of the luminosity, but oh my gosh, wait, I love this. What? What? Rihanna, Miss Fenty, Miss Robin. Wow, even on my dry areas, I feel like I can just powder them down. Honey, the world is not ready for this makeup routine. It's been a long time since I bought a bunch of new makeup just because, especially when my skin doesn't look good, I'm just like, what is the point? Like, no makeup is going to make this look good. I need to fix I, whatever's going on. Now that I know, I'm on to you, uh, Malacencia. I know what you're doing and what you're trying to do, and... We're not having it. So now that I'm on to Miss Malacensia, yikes, time's up. Um, I don't think I'm gonna wear a bronzer. I mean, a, a blush. I have a blush. It said that I could use the Alima Pure Blush, which is really exciting. Let's see. Yeah, maybe I'll put one on. It said the Satin Matte Blush is safe, but I assume the Luminous Shimmer Blush is safe too. I don't know, but this one is in the color Lee. It's like a shimmery sort of pink. I'll just put a little bit. I feel like I look good with a little bit of like rosy something rather than just bronzer. That's it for that. Hi Mochi, how you doing? Um, what was I just gonna do? Oh, the Fenty, oh yes, the Fenty highlighter. Ah, the Fenty highlighter. So again, this is um, Sandcastle and Minted Mojito. Looks like this. So don't ask me why I chose these colors, but I don't know. It looked like it could be cute. So I'm gonna take the, I'm gonna take this side, the not, not minty side, and pop some on. Yes, that is strong, just as I presumed. Very strong, okay. It does work on the nose. I thought maybe I was a little too fair, but it works. Throwing it back to what, like 2015, giving you blinding highlight, but that's okay. It's cute. Ooh, yeah, that's kind of a lot for me. Wow. You can be really light-handed with this. I'm gonna take the powder brush and just kind of chill it out a little bit. Here we go. What about adding a little bit of this mint just to see what we got here? Okay, why not have fun? I'm not going anywhere anyway. That's cute though, like on a night out. Oh, it's very cool toned, but it's cute. I probably wouldn't wear so much bronzer if I was really gonna rock the blue, but it's cute. Okay, that's the face, I'm very happy. Now these are the two Yves Saint Laurent, hi Mochi. These are the two YSL lip products I got. This is the Slim Sheer Matte in 105, red uncovered. So I tried to get a very, cool, a very cool toned red. It's very bright. And I really like the slim packaging. Ooh, very sleek. I smell so good. That Joe Malone, oh my gosh. And it's actually lasting. And then I got this one, this is in 205. Secret Rosewood and this is the glow matte so it has a little bit of you know glimmering So let's go ahead and try this No scammer stay away It has that typical YSL smell It's really smooth. I expected it to be like drier, but it's not dry so it reminds me a little bit of my favorite Glossier, um, the Generation G. A little bit of that concept that it's like, you can really blend out that color and make it really soft and it's not very opaque at first. Okay, 
Okay, let me zoom you in a little bit. Wow, that's actually gorgeous. That's actually really, really natural and beautiful. Plus, I love products like this because if you go on a date or if you've got a partner and you wanna kiss them or you wanna talk and eat and not worry about things going all over your teeth, I'm very stressed about that. I, ha I hate having things on my teeth or worrying about it. Like, this will slowly fade. You can't really see the, like it's not an intense line of where my lip color is. It just looks really pretty and natural. Wow, I love that. I kind of want to try a little bit of the red, even though I probably, it's a little much, but I just want to see the, the tone. It's so bright. Am I about to ruin this right now? I don't know how I feel about this red. There was a berry one that maybe I should have gotten. Maybe I'll take it back and get that. I don't know. Especially, I don't know if I like wearing reds that are a little bit sheeny. I like a really, really matte. I've been rocking Ruby Woo. It's a nice enough color. It makes my teeth look pretty white, but what do we think? I feel like I could do better with the red. It might even be a little too light. Yeah, I feel like I need something more punchy and a little darker. But anyway, that's the look. We're, we're going to try to work on this stuff. So I'll keep you updated on the situation. That is my new routine. I guess. Okay, wait, I just blotted the red lipstick and I think I like it now. So maybe I just don't like it full, like I like it blotted. It's giving me popsicle vibes. Anyway, this is the real one. Um, Catch you in my next video. Love you guys so much. <laughs> Bye guys.